Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tech Super channel. Today in this video, we are going to show how to show child record against a parent record. For example, if you have a two business object that has the parent child relationship like employees and then phone number, employee and then addresses, a single employee can have multiple addresses, can have multiple phone numbers. So the requirement is you wanted to show a row and in a single row of an employee, you wanted to show all the phone numbers or all the addresses. So this is the requirement which we have and which we are going to show you through this video, how we can achieve the same in our Oracle Visual Builder. So guys, before we start, I will ask everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates of my YouTube channel. One more useful information I would like to deliver here with you. So guys, if you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder with a lot of real-time examples, so I have published a book recently and the title of this book, Effortless App Development with Oracle Visual Builder. The publisher is back in this book. I have captured a lot of things, the real time scenarios, the debugging mechanism, how to handle exceptions, the best practices, security and other stuff. So if you are willing to learn Visual Builder, step by step, this is the great book for you. You can go to this link https colon slash slash pack dot live slash 3mwsnr7 this link will take you to the amazon website from where you can buy this book okay so let's get started so this is the scenario which i am going to show you here so if you see this is screenshot here i have an employee record like uncle jan and then email address against the employee i have two phone numbers so the requirement is i wanted to show you all the phone numbers against this employee Similarly, another employee, all the phone number should be visible in a same row, but in a sequence like one, two, three, four, five. So if you have such kind of requirement, how to achieve the same in Oracle Visual Builder, I am going to show you the same. So now let me just take you to the Oracle Visual Builder screen, wherein I have created a test application. Now, before I create my web application, let me just create two business objects that will show you the parent child relationship might be you already know how to create business object but let me show you quickly so that you guys can do this demo end to end without any issues so create with first name it's simple to create uh, builds in a business object i'm just creating three fields as simple as that last name and then the third is email address okay fine now let's try to enter some data here let me say e at gmail.com uncle and then Jen. let me add one more row here quickly be at gmail.com and see and then Jen. okay now i have created an employee business object with certain fields and some records. Again, let me just create a, another business object with name phone. Okay, create field. And let me just go ahead and then create certain fields here. Go to the field section, create fields here. Let's say phone number. Okay, let's say phone type. Okay, and let me just create another field which will have, which will have the parent child relationship, which is called EMPID. And here we have the reference type of uh, type, and I need to select the referenced business object, which is my employee, and the display field, which you are whatever you want to select, you can select it. But it will be created based on the ID. Okay, email address, and then create. Field. Okay. Fine. Now, when you create a relationship, you can go to the overview tab and you can see, see the relationship. Our employee can have multiple phone numbers. Similarly, if you go to the employee, the relationship will be visible. Employee and then phone number. Now go to the phone number, a phone business object, and let's put some rows here. You can select your employee ID, let's say one, and let's say phone number is 9091. Okay, let me say mobile. 
Okay, let me just add one more row against the same record. Let me say zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, random number. Let me say this is small number. Let me add uh, two more rows against a second employee. Two, and let me say nine, eight, seven, something like this. And let's say home, not home. Let's say office. Okay, and let me add another row against the same report. Let me say zero, double one, two, three. any random number. Let me say this is again a home. So, perfect. I have two business objects as simple as that. One is the employee, second is a phone number, and I, I have inserted two reports too. Now, you might be knowing that right, every, uh, every business object has the endpoints, which are generated automatically. So, if you go to the employee, Okay, you can go to the endpoints and you can see the employee employee has employee business object has five endpoints get post get patch delete and if you similarly if you go to the phone you can go to this endpoint and you will see you have the endpoints like phone get create get one patch and then delete and against that we have the employee id object as well means this is the employee object corresponding to the phone you can get the employee but if you go to the employee you cannot get the phone against the employee id so if you want the phone phone details against our employee by default this this is not there but if you want you can do this so you need to go to this child table okay and go to this overview tab and click on this edit so you have to update the relationship here click on this edit and here you have to simply enable this you simply need to check this chat box and here this is the accessor name phone connection by default if you want to change it you can change it that's fine click on a done button as soon as you enable this accessor and you go to this endpoint you can see employee id object now against sorry employee uh endpoint here you can see phone connection so now against an employee you can get the phone as well now, I have created two business objects as simple as that. That's fine. Now, I'm going to create a simple application. Let me say test web app and click on a create button. That's fine. It's simple to create. Now, let me use our table component, drag and drop, and let me associate this table with my employee business object. Click on add data. Select the employee business object and click on the next button. And here I am going to select the columns, first name, last name, email address. And here you see the phone collection. This phone collection is coming because we have enabled the accessor. Click on the items. And now you can see the phone number here. Okay. Click on the next button and then finish. Now I am good. Now if you see this table has been populated with the employee record, first name, last name, email address, but you see the only one number here. Now, I wanted to show you all the number against our employee. So let's tweak this. Now, what I'm going to do, I am going to use this text component and will drop it here. When you drop it here, if you go to this code section or you can go to the structure as well, we can see our template will be generated automatically. If you go to this code section, you can say template. Okay, earlier this template was not there. As soon as you drag any component on a column, this template will be generated. Fine. I don't need this bind text component, which was generated automatically. Let me simply go ahead and then remove it. I don't need it. Fine. Now, what I'm going to do, I am going to simply right click here not this one or you can simply go to this structure and right click here and let's say surround oh so sorry around and let's say for each okay now when you do this for each it will show you the 
combined element for each and against this a template also. Sorry. Right. Now what you need to do? You need to what you need. You need uh, here like current dot raw dot pawn collection. What is pawn collection? You can take it from there as well. Pawn, go to this overview, go here and let's copy this. And go to this main start. And let's say pawn collection. And then items. Okay. Now, what you need to do, you need to current data dot raw and then your field name of the pawn, which you want to use, which is my pawn number. Go to this main start again and then put it here. Now, if you go to this design mode, you will see. Okay. Pawn dot current dot. Now you see, you need to do current dot data dot phone number. That's fine. Now you see all the phone number are visible here against the employee. But you see the numbers are in the same line. If you want to put in the different row or different uh, separate by the next line, you can use this BR tag. Okay, go to this design. Now you see phone number are visible. Now, if you wanted to show some but the fancy look here, what you can do, you can simply use this bind text component again here. Let me just copy this and then put it here. Let me show current dot index, which will give me the index of the row. If you go to this design, now you see zero one means the index will start from zero to one. But now you can say plus one. Design, you can see one, two. If you want to make them bold, one or two, the sequence, what you can do, you can simply put the bold element here. Okay, the bold tag, which is a HTML kind of tag design. Now you can see one, two is in the bold and you can do one more thing plus like this. Now this looks good to me. If you run this page, you can see That is here you see against our record anchor chain email address we have two phone numbers similarly nancy one two if you add one more simply go ahead and then add one more row here okay let me just do this two okay and if you refresh this page the third number should be visible here against this employee two. That is space to be, and here you will say one, two, one, two. So this the second employee has three phone numbers. Okay, so guys, that's all about this uh, video. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. You can. Find me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, or you can see my blog, https colon slash slash www.taxable.com. Guys, that's all about this video. Have a good day. Bye.